What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. This is Travis here. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the new Griffin Diamond Bandsaw here for the fish room. I'm going to be putting it together and cutting up some coral, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now before we get started, I just want to say thank you for all the support here on the channel. Because of the views and the subscribers over the last month or so, I was able to go ahead and purchase this saw with my YouTube money. And uh, I really do appreciate the support. And it's awesome that I'm able to uh, purchase things like this to continue to grow the channel and to grow my business. So thank you for that. As most of you already know, I've been selling coral out of my 125 gallon reef that I broke down in February-ish. I think it was February. And uh, it's been about, what, seven months and uh, it's been going strong. I did lose a, quite a bit of coral during the move here to the new house. But other than that, I've been selling pretty much the same stuff. Now that's fine because it still sells and you know for beginners and it works out great. But the only issue is, is that I don't really have a lot of variety on the site. So what I've been doing is I've been purchasing coral from a wholesale vendor and uh, the issue I was running into is I was getting colonies but I couldn't cut them up simply because the Dremel wasn't uh, strong enough or the blade wasn't big enough to get through the colony and it just kind of made a mess out of the frag. So I decided to go ahead and uh, invest the money into the saw and I'm going to tell you right now it is the best coral uh, cutting investment uh, that you can possibly make. Now when it comes to putting the saw together, it was pretty easy up until the point where I needed to figure out where the last blade guide went. I don't know why it was so difficult. I read the directions and it didn't make any sense. Uh, it could have been just an off day for me, so don't judge me on that. But uh, regardless, it actually attaches to the upper receiver, basically where the motor is. And uh, it, it's exactly in line with the blade, hence the name of the blade guide. And uh, yeah, I don't know why it was so difficult, but it took me like 20 minutes of staring at it, scratching my head, trying to figure out how the hell it went together. So with that being said, let me walk you through briefly how to put this thing together. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and slide the motor uh, through the designated slots there, and uh, it just goes right into place. Now there is a screw underneath that you can adjust the height of the motor, which you'll use later on to kind of add some tension to the blade. Other, other than that, just go ahead and uh, lower the motor as much as you can, that way the blade goes on easy. So the next thing you're gonna do is take the two green sponges. Uh, there's designated spots that are pretty easy to figure out. One goes on the back wall, which cleans the blade right before it goes over the top wheel. And then the second one goes down underneath the white wheel into the water which then you know helps clean the blade as it slides through well here is that blade guide that I had such a hard time with and you can actually replace those little white um, they're I guess they're acrylic um, you can go ahead and replace those if they get worn down but uh, it literally just slides up uh, it's really simple again I don't know why it was so difficult for me but uh, there you go now once you have everything set up you're gonna go ahead and add the blade now you want the cutting edge or the diamond edge facing you obviously so you can push on the coral against the blade and have it cut now what I like to do is go ahead and put the top on first and then um, slide it underneath the bottom you can rotate the wheel if you want to to make it a little bit easier but if you lowered the upper receiver far enough it should just slide over the bottom wheel without any issues all right, once you have the blade in place, go ahead and use the bolt on the upper receiver to increase the height of the motor. This will go ahead and add some tension to the blade itself. That way it doesn't fly off. Now, there is a secondary bolt that you actually see here. It's, it's inside the chamber there, and what it does is it tilts the bottom wheel, basically allowing the blade to not fly off in either direction. Now, there is a little bit of a plastic ring on the wheel on the back that will keep it from flying off the back, but... If the wheel is tilted forward too much, it will actually slide off the front. So you want to go ahead and adjust that uh, bolt itself to make sure that the blade stays pretty much in the middle of the wheel. Well, that's pretty much it when it comes to setting the saw up. It was pretty simple, minus my own stupidity. And uh, yeah, I did have to make a couple minor changes uh, adjustment-wise once I started cutting coral. Because basically, uh, when you once you get water into that bottom reservoir, it's going to lube up the blade. And then it's going to kind of slip around a little bit on that bottom wheel. So the best thing you want to do is go ahead and turn it on and then adjust the tension not only on the upper motor, but also the angle of that bottom wheel just to make sure that uh, it doesn't slide around or slip out of the guides there. But other than that, guys, it's pretty simple simple and I'm telling you right now if you plan on cutting a lot of coral consistently you have to have one of these saws um, I will probably never use my Dremel tool for cutting coral again because it's just so easy um, when it comes to the saw now one thing you want to do when you're cutting every once in a while just check on the water inside the reservoir uh, basically over time as you can see it's dripping down here it will flow off the side of the machine which I'll get into here in a second and uh, you just want to make sure it's topped off so basically there's that green sponge in the bottom just keep it at that level uh, if you go any higher than that it tends to kind of spray out of the machine and makes a huge mess so uh, the same height of the of the sponge and you're good to go basically it's going to clean and keep the blade cool and it will cut through the rock much easier 
Now, once you're done cutting, go ahead and take the whole machine outside if you can and spray it down with a hose. Now, I wouldn't spray the motor directly, but you definitely are better off doing it outside just because there's going to be a ton of little rock that you probably don't want to get stuck in your drain. But other than that, guys, just keep the machine clean, keep the water topped off, and keep an eye on the blade. Uh, it will stretch out over time, so you're going to want to adjust the height and the um, angle on both of those wheels. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned before, there is a little bit of an issue that um, it's just kind of happens with these types of saws, but uh, it's just the water itself doesn't stay contained inside the saw. It actually, as you can see on the top there, it flows off the saw and just soaks everything. So if you're going to use one of these, go ahead and take a towel or two and put it underneath the saw. Or in my case, I actually took the plastic container that you see here and then eventually cut another one and put it the saw inside of it so all the water just stays contained it doesn't spray over the place and it doesn't uh, soak the wood on my table but other than that guys i don't have any complaints about the saw it works out great and uh, it's probably the best investment that i've made uh, regarding cutting coral well guys that's about it for this video if i could give the saw a rating it would definitely be five out of five stars i really do enjoy it now i haven't had it that long so I don't really know what the long-term effect of salt water on the saw will be. And uh, I'll probably do an update in probably like six to eight months and give you guys an idea of how it's holding up since I'll be uh, cutting a ton of coral between now and then. So we'll definitely get an idea of how this thing performs uh, being beaten on pretty much every week. All right. Either way, guys, I'm going to go ahead and throw some music in the background. It's been a while since I've done a video like that. And some of you guys like that stuff. And uh, I will just kind of uh, be fragging out some coral here, putting it in the tank. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Either way, if you have any questions about this saw, go ahead and put it in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.